Live radar tracking storms so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 weather. A tornado watch remains in effect for Jefferson, Shelby, Blunt, Etowah, Cherokee, DeKalb, St. Clair, Calhoun, Talladega, as well as Clay, Coosa, Chilton, Bibb, Perry, and Hale counties. Technically until 2 a.m. unless it is canceled before that. And we note that a brand new severe thunderstorm warning has just been issued to the south. And I'm going to show you that here on WVTM 13 live Doppler radar. You can see it there just getting right up to the edge of Chilton County from Perry County and Dallas County. That's southwest of Clanton, but that is one that we want to watch very, very closely. A lot of lightning happening. Southern Shelby County, northern Chilton County, and then southwest of there. But northwest of Birmingham, in fact, that line right there from Birmingham up toward Aniana, that's the cold front. The wind is out of the northwest now in Jasper and Tuscaloosa, Winfield, Haleyville, Coleman. The threat is over toward the northwest, but east of this cold front and then especially south of I-20, the threat of some severe weather still remains in effect. So a severe thunderstorm warning now in effect for the southwestern edge of Chilton County until 11 p.m. And that's because of a storm that has developed just to the south of Mary, southeast of Marion, and it's tracking up toward the Stanton and Maplesville areas. This again, northern Dallas, southwestern Chilton, and the eastern part of Perry County in central Alabama. Severe thunderstorms can produce tornadoes with very limited advance warning. And in this case, the National Weather Service is actually using what's called a tornado possible tag because there's some pretty substantial rotation happening within that storm. And this is the live view from WVTM 13 live Doppler radar. Let's look in closely and I, I don't see a single point here that looks like it would be the single spot where a tornado would be developing. But anytime you see something that looks like this, if it continues to tighten, we can expect that the National Weather Service may may go ahead and issue a tornado warning from this. So if you're in Chilton County in particular, I want you to be ready in case, especially the southwest part of Chilton County, be ready in case a warning is required uh, in terms of a tornado warning. Now, when will this get to you? Well, it's moving to the northeast at about 30 miles per hour. So the storm that's there southeast of Sprott tracking toward Maplesville and Stanton, and then it would take it about 40 minutes or so to get up here toward the Clanton area. Stanton would be about 1039. Downtown Clanton would be about 11 p.m. And then uh, the Isabella community around 1050. The timeline for the rest of the night looks something like this. Now the outlook here still enhanced from the Storm Prediction Center, so let's remove that. Threat has ended toward the northwest. We think in Chilton and Shelby and Jefferson counties, there's still a threat through about midnight and then through about 2 a.m. over the eastern part of the state. We'll keep on watching that storm that's headed up into Chilton County.